Hello everyone, Marcus Wolf here, welcoming you back to another episode of Haunting Ground. Ah, last we left off in the last episode, we both d died to and defeated the easiest killer in the game. But I will say this, it wasn't my fault that I died, well, okay, it wasn't completely my fault that I died. Huey just refused to, Don't for you. whatever reason, like bite, uh, uh, I keep forgetting his name, or keep refused to bite Oriolus while he was grabbing me. And then when she knocked Fiona down, he managed to just completely, oh, okay, so we can't go through there, that's fine. He managed to completely knock Fiona onto her you back and then just started to... I don't even know what he did, but, uh... Apparently it was super aggressive to the point that Fiona actually died. So, he did some... Extremely, extremely... Aggressive... Sucking. Because that is what he did. It, there's, there's no denying it. That's what he did. He, he was sucking. Where he was sucking, that's up to you to, to imagine because I am not going to say wh what was happening. Anyway, so we're going to continue on, and we noticed that this door is tight, uh, tied, is closed so tightly there is no way to open it. It's like it's been welded shut. And Huey is searching and has found nothing. Okay, that's great. Uh, I actually really don't know where to go. I think I can go this way? Oh, okay, I actually can. Uh, how about this door, though? Because this is another door. That answers my question. We are not going through this way. Okay. Let's go. Oh. Uh, hello? Oh, you've been very naughty, Fiona. You're causing me much grief. What? What are you doing, Fiona? Just where do you intend to run? How adorable you are, Fiona. I actually don't remember this. This is actually kind of creepy. <laughs> this is kind of creepy. I can see you clearly from here, Fiona. Who are you? I can barely see as it is in this room. Who are you? Uh, Fiona, why are we hiding? Do you really think you can hide from me there? Well, you clearly can see where I am, and I don't see you. Oh. I. I hardly think this is fair that you can see me and I can't see you. This is hardly fair, whoever you are, sir. Uh, oh, what is the door? <laughs> Looks like a dead end here. How unfortunate. Are you serious? Uh, simply cannot understand. Can I shut the door? Maybe, may, maybe if I shut it and open it. Okay, never mind. I really don't remember this part. I really, really don't. Oh! <laughs> that was a close one, eh, Fiona? Oh! Why must I run from me? I don't even know who you are. Can Can I get out of here, please? Huey, can you break down the door, please? <gasps> oh my God! What is this? What is going on here? I really, really don't know. What the heck is going on? Uh. <laughs> Everything I do is for the great truth. 
That's good and all. I'll just stay by this candle. Maybe if you you come decide to show your face, I can just throw it at you and something else will explode. <laughs> no, huh? No. Uh. At last, you are mine, Fiona. Oh, did I just have to literally wait it out? I guess so. Whatever. Cutscene. Come to me, Fiona. Come to me, Fiona. I don't want to go to you. I will just, uh, nope on out the other way. Maybe, maybe this door is now no longer a dead end? No, it's just a, a door to nowhere. Why build a door like that? This makes no sense. It makes no sense. It's like the Alaskan Bridge to Nowhere. It makes no sense. Uh, well, we can leave now. The great Oriana's belly once said, the most valuable thing in this world is the great truth. Human beings, human life, they're not capable of grasping this truth. We cannot merely sit idle and await the future. We must dedicate our lives to the realization of the truth. Oh, Fiona. No. My Azoth. Come to me. Come to me. Wait. Wait a minute. Wait, didn't, didn't I just came out of the same door and then... Uh, what the heck is this place? Um, I'm actually deadly serious. I do not remember this part at all. Oh, oh, oh God. Oh, uh, well, we're gonna save because I don't want to spend another seven or uh, six or whatever minutes in that room, like, being stuck for whatever reason. Where am I? Can, can I? can I just go through this door again? It's a magical door, apparently. No, okay not. That's fine. Where am I? <laughs> uh, well, we only got one other door. They're, they're clearly leading me to a particular direction. Wait, is it an, it's another cl there's another clone? Uh, Fiona, my dear holder of Azoth. What's going on? You're not my... Uh, Azoth is the essence of life. We alchemists have the ability to convert it into power. We can live forever. Your Azoth, Fiona, belongs to me. <laughs> Come to me, Fiona. I will now extract the Azoth latent in you in order to realize the everlasting life of Oriolus Belly. Just kidding. Wow! Okay, he knows map. Open this door. Okay, I, I kind of remember this now. I, I kind of remember... Shut the door in your face. Yes, I know, I know. 
Let's go. Oh god, he opened that door quickly. Um, <laughs> I kind of remember this now. Oh my god, Fiona, please. Shut this door. Give me some time. And run. Okay, um... I kind of remember this now. Uh... So that it was another clone. You notice that he was saying it... So apparently, Oriolus Belly is dead. He's that old man that we killed. And this is another clone, just like uh, Fiona's father, Ugo, and Ricardo. So, Huey! Hi, Huey! Hi! Wh where have you been, boy? I'm amazed you found me. Good boy. But yeah, so this one is another clone. Do we have any idea about who he is? What's going on? Last time I entered the room, yada yada. Lorenzo's face looks like my father's. And then to watch him transform from an old man into someone less than half his age. Aureolus Lorenzo Belli. So this is Lorenzo. Uh, okay. Okay, let, let, let me just pause here. I need to get my thoughts right. I, I'm actually serious. Uh, so if I'm to understand correctly, the old man is the actual Oriolus Lorenzo Belli, because that's what he introduced himself as. Uh, Lorenzo, that voice, only one I thought it was on my side. Uh, blah, 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 blah. Okay, look, that old man, that, like, super old man is clearly dead. He was squashed. There's no way he survived that. <laughs> so, I'm wondering, is this just a... I'm wondering, is this another clone? D but the, pro the thing is, Fiona specifically says Lorenzo. So is this the same old man that got crushed to death? Or... I, d I don't know. I want to say this is a third clone that is named Lorenzo as well. Uh, only because he specifically said, Allow me to realize the everlasting life of Aureolus Belly. So, Aureolus is dead, which is, Aureolus Lorenzo Belly is dead, so this is Lorenzo only. I don't know, I, I can't quite understand, I might be right, I might be wrong, I don't know. This whole clone business is getting very strange with this last guy. <laughs> Let's go. Uh, before, what the, okay, 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 creepy music, that's fine, that's fine. Fine. Oh god, so much creepy music. Huey. Huey, can you help me? Okay, let's just keep running. Oh god, what am I just going in a circle? Oh god. Huey? Huey? Oh, thank you, Huey. Oh! Th I'm sorry, Huey, but thank you for being a distraction. I'm so sorry, Huey. Where am I? What is this? I don't know where the heck I am. And Fiona's getting tired. This is great. Fiona's getting tired. I found you. Yes, you found me. Oh, another cutscene. Wait a minute. This is not a cutscene. What the heck? Where did I go? Uh, l let me rest for a moment. Where am I? I really don't remember this part. <laughs> How do I not remember this part? I really... What? Uh, Huey, uh, l let me give you a nice Huey. pet, and at the same time, let me give you some food, because you, you did take a, a beating for me to, just to give me a chance to run. Uh, I will give you some... Oh, uh, I don't have that many escorts. I'm actually surprised. I, I got a crap ton of magnum. Oh! <laughs> this reminds me, uh, when I was doing, when I was redoing the whole, uh, old man Aureolus battle, I beat him to death. Yes, he gives you a crap ton of medallions. Just medallions. And also, he gives you a ruby choker. What a ruby choker does is that it reduces the speed at which you lose stamina and increases the recovery speed. It also increases the chance to avoid enemy power attacks. You know, the ones where they do the super move that if Huey does not help you, you just die instantly? So, it helps. It really helps. And I love this. So I'm gonna... Yes, I hate the Obsidian Choker. Put on the Ruby Choker. So now she loses stamina slower. So, 
And, and here's the thing, oh shoot, and here's the thing, Oriolus Belly is very easy to down. You just get Huey on a few times and then like, he, he's down. He's the easiest chaser to down. Anyway, oh god, this puzzle. I hate it. I remember this puzzle for some reason, but not, I don't remember the ending, but I remember the puzzle. Ugh. All things begin pure of color. Well, this is a color-coded puzzle. All things begin pure of color. Well, this is hard if you do- Oh shit. Uh... Shoot. No, it, the, this first door doesn't matter. I, I think the plaque is just referencing the room that you're in. You notice the room is white, and white is the color of pureness. So we enter the red door, and now we need to follow these signs. Uh, this is gonna be very confusing. For the next step, be it red or blue, the answers will make themselves known one by one. Well, we are in the red room, so I assume we need to go to the blue room? That is a black room? That feels like death? <laughs> uh, well, there's an item. There is no blue room. Oh no, I'm confused. So did I just take the wrong way and this is this game's- and, and that was the plaque way telling me I went the wrong way? Okay, no, I just went through yellow- See, I don't understand this puzzle for the life of me. I truly, truly don't. Um, uh, the colors, like the unique memories of the mind, may only come once in a lifetime. Ah, okay. So this means you can only use each color once. Now, obviously for those of you that don't know how to read between the lines, it might be hard to interpret. I know some people have that difficulty, but just by reading it carefully, it says, Unique memories of the mind only come once in a lifetime. That is the same with colors. So in this case, we can only use the like we can only use the colors once. Uh, the blue door. Uh, out of my curiosity, what is this door? This is a green. I've never been to a green door, so I don't think it matters which door I pick. I'll just take the doors that have items to it. <laughs> Watch it ends up going the right way. Okay, so we're in this green room now. And so we have to keep in mind the rooms we've been in. All colors must, in the end, form black. This is mankind's inevitable fate. So all colors, in the end, form black. Key word here, in the end. Key phrase, in the end, form black. So that would mean use all the colors once and then go to black. That's what I interpret. Uh, I've been through a red door, so we're not doing that. Uh, let's see. Yeah, this is all a word puzzle. It really is all just a word pu- Oh, that's a red door. A black door. Okay, whatever. Yeah, this is all just a word puzzle. So... I remember when I first played it, I was confused as sin, and I had no idea where I was, and we just got a journal. Uh, I'm right back where I start- oh. God damn it. I'm right back where I started, well that's great. Uh, God damn it. Okay, um, let's go this way then. I thought I was on the right track, apparently not? I don't know. Okay, well, we're going through the blue door. We, we, we gotta keep track of the colors. Uh, let's see. You, oh, shut up. Let me read this damn thing. God dang it. One should care not of order that ties the colors of red, blue, yellow, green together. Okay, so it doesn't matter what order we go in, so long as we go into each color at least once. We done blue. We done blue. So red, blue, green, yellow. Uh, out of my curiosity, what's the other one? We already done blue, so we need red, green, yellow. Oh no. Uh, uh, I'll do yellow. Okay, blue, yellow, and then green, red should be next. So it should be green, red, black after this. If I went through the right door. Blue, yellow, green, red. What do you mean I have to get away? Oh! Excuse me? What did you- Okay, well, I'm not reading that. Uh, no, I just went through blue. Huey, help. Oh, oh my god. He is just beating the- He's just using magic! Huey! Huey! Uh, okay, uh, uh, so green, and then red. 
open this door, go through. He's not still here, is he? Oh my god. Uh, red, red door, red door, red door. Where's the red door? Okay, right here. Let's go before he summons fire from the ground to attack me. Now, this is just cheating. Alright, so from here, I think it's black. Okay, well, he's to my right, because I see Fiona turning her head. I have to go to the right. Huey. Huey. Oh my god. Would you stop cheap-shotting me? It's over. Ow! Oh my god. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, Huey. I don't know if he can be down. Can he be down? Okay. Yes, I know. You're laughing. You're laughing the creepy laugh. Sir? Sir? Oh, God! You know what? I'm not even going to bother with this. I'm not going to bother with this. She, he's going to kill me. Am I done? Okay, good. Oh, there's a hole here, but I have to get away. Are you kidding me? If I went back, I'm sure I will get lost. Best keep moving. Okay. Oh, thank God there's a clock. Oh, thank God there's a clock. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna save here. I'm gonna call an end of the video. <laughs> I do not want to do that maze again. And this guy just cheap shot the hell out of me. Uh, yeah, let, let me give Huey some good boys. Good boy. Some good boys. Good boy. And also, I'm gonna feed him because he took a right beaming. So while I feed Huey, allow me to say thank you for watching. Uh, I hope I will see you on the next episode. And Lorenzo, or Clone Lorenzo, I don't know who this is. Whoever he is, he's going to start chasing us to hell and back. So, and start cheap shotting us with his magic attacks. Because guess what? Alchemy is magic. To a degree it is. And now it, uh, we, we consider it magic. I mean, turning stone into gold and and all this like magical stuff i mean everlasting life the philosopher's stone it's magic ish whatever <laughs> bye everyone